Hey guys, it's Coach Trinette. Welcome to Lunch Club. Today we're going to be talking about self-love. Um, to start off, I'm going to read a poem to you guys that I found. The poem is written by Raina Biddy. I think I said that right. But I'm going to read that off first. Then I'm just going to go over 10 ways that you can practice self-love. And then lastly, I'm going to end with an activity. So I want you guys to just take the time to first listen to this poem. Accept yourself as a work in progress. Then continue to build yourself into the person you're dreaming to be. The person you have all the potential to be. Accept your flaws. Accept your truth, accept your past, and make light of them. No one can tear you down if you make peace with who you are and where you've been. If you are going to focus on the negative at all, focus on turning them into positives. Focus on growing. Sometimes, oftentimes, our minds are the scariest place to sit. It'll trick you into comparing yourself to others, and it'll trick you into believing you aren't good enough, but you are. You have always been, and you always will be. You're much more powerful when you believe in yourself. If you don't love all of you, who will? Give yourself time to blossom. Now I'm gonna go over 10 ways that you can practice self-love. The first way is the way you posture yourself. Posture has been proven to um, increase those feel-good hormones. So just like strike those power poses and that alone can help you improve self-love. Another thing you can do is do what makes you feel good. I know we all know that we feel better doing things that we want to do as opposed to those things that we don't do. So don't worry about what makes other people feel good. Do what makes you feel good. The third thing you can do is ignore your inner critic. We can definitely be our biggest critics. We're very hard on ourselves. Sometimes we just have to ignore that inner critic. The fourth thing you can do is surround yourself with loving people. It can be really hard to love yourself if you surround yourself with people who aren't loving because they won't bring out the best in you. They won't help, they won't help you see the good in you. So just surrounding yourself with those loving people can help you increase love for yourself. Um, the fifth thing you can do is not compare yourself to others. We are all individual human beings. We move at different paces. We all have a different time clock. So just don't compare yourself to someone, whether you're ahead of them or they're ahead of you. We'll all get where we need to be. The sixth thing you can do is celebrate yourself. It honestly does feel good just to be celebrated, even if you're just doing it for yourself. Celebration helps you to continue to strive to do things. The seventh thing you can do is try new things. You never know what you're good at. Like you'll discover some new hobbies, some new skills. So just try new things and you might learn something new. The eighth thing you can do is find things to be grateful for. Um, You might look at certain situations and feel like, you know, you wish you had better or you wish you did better, but always remember that someone always has it worse than you, so just find like those little things in your life and be grateful for it. And the last thing that you can do to increase self-love is forgive. Um, Never walk around with just heavy stuff like on your conscience it's better to forgive than just walk around with that negative energy in you just let it go so the last thing that i want us to do is take this um 
mirror worksheet that I just posted. And you can just get a piece of paper, um, write a list of five. And I basically just want you guys to write five things that you love about yourself. It can be like anything, like you love your hair, you love that you're a given person, you love um, going on walks, like anything that you love or feel good about yourself, I want you guys to just give write a list of just five things. Thanks for joining Lunch Club. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you later. Bye.